Okay guys, so as you can see by the title of this video, I have had a health DNA test done um, and I have got the results. Okay guys, so I want to first start off by saying this video isn't endorsed, um, I didn't get paid for this um, and it's not a promotion. Um, but I will mention the name of the company who done this for me because it was gifted to me. So basically, um, through my TikTok, um, as some of you may know, um, I have a fibromyalgia awareness TikTok page because myself, I've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Um, and one of my um, fellow, I don't like saying followers, um, one of my community contacted me and said that she was too diagnosed with fibromyalgia and um, had taken one of these tests to try and find a root cause of where the fibromyalgia was coming from or if it was anything different, um, if it was a wrong diagnosis, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, and she said that after this test, she found out she had something else and she was treating it and it's changed her life. She wanted me to, um, or she asked me, can I send you a test kit free of charge um, and hopefully it can change your life to which I agreed so I first off want to start by saying that um, I believed well I believe in my in my in my heart well I, I believed that the doctors when doing my test for fibromyalgia um, over a seven year period have tested for everything um, and I still don't know if this is true or not it's kind of throwing me into two minds and it's kind of it's making me want to dig a little bit deeper i'm going to go in depth into a different story um as to why it's making me dig a little bit deeper um but my test results um came back and it's made me want to dig deeper okay so um the the company going back to who the company was um or are and um, they're a company called um madu so um, they are a company, I don't know where they're based. I believe they're based in the US. I'm not 100% sure. But the lady got in contact with me, said to me, I'm going to send you this kit and um, follow the instructions and send it back to us. And we should have your results um, between um, four to six weeks. So what she said they would be testing for would be um, things like if I'm deficient in certain vitamins within my body, um, if certain things are playing havoc with my body, um, I believe um, with the test that I done, I know there's a few different tests that you can do, um, it varies in prices, and the test that I done um, tests you for a few things which you might be um, not allergic to, but might, um, I can't think of the word. So um, my test came and it came in the form of a test tube and what you have to do with this um with this test is you have to they test your saliva so what you have to do is you have to spit into a bottle so they they um, give you a funnel for the top you connect you spit into the bottle and you have to fill it up a certain amount so if the bottle test tube is this this big you have to put like this much saliva in I didn't realize this could be so difficult because after two or three spits, it's very hard to produce more saliva. And you're not allowed to eat within half an hour or drink or chew gum or anything like that. Half an hour or an hour. It says it on the um it says it on the packaging. So I done this, um, put it into a plastic bag they provide, fasten the top, plastic bag, sent it off. Um, and then what you have to do is you have to download the app. This is all very basic, very easy to do. Um, and I kept checking, checking the app um, constantly, constantly. Um, and I received an email actually, I think, I don't know if they knew that I was checking the app constantly. I received an email saying, um, we're really sorry, um, your test results um, came back weaker than expected, but we can still get what we need from them, but we just need a little bit more time to give you an accurate reading, which is fine. Um, then, uh, about two days later, I checked on the app and it said your test results are ready. So I went through my test results and to be honest with you, it has shocked me. So my test results was 
as follows. So I was deficient in free vitamins within my body. So I was deficient in the first one that I mentioned was B12. Um, and this is the main major thing that has made me want to dig deeper into my diagnosis of fibromyalgia. Um, a lot of people have told me maybe you're just deficient in B12. Um, and I've had B12 shots before and been on B12 supplements for a long time. So I always dismissed it and said, no, I've done my utmost to, but it's come back that I am deficient. And I've done research into it and realized that um, you can be deficient in a certain level and you have to have bloods taken before and after to make sure you're getting the, 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 the perfect amount of B12 in your body. But that's for a later video. Um, so B12 I was deficient in. Um, the next one I was deficient in was B9 folate. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, and I've also done research into this. And there is very interesting things between the two, the two of them, B12 and B9 folate, um, that correlates a lot with fibromyalgia symptoms. Um, so, the reason I'm not hundredly, hundred, hundred, the reason I'm not hundred percent convinced that it would just be just this and not fibromyalgia is because I believe you can become deficient from having a chronic pain condition. But like I said, that's for another video. This video is just to talk about the DNA test um, and what, what came back. Okay, so the last um, vitamin that I was um, deficient in is selenium. I've done a little bit of research on selenium, um, but nothing's really jumping out at me. Um, what I have done is I have tried to book an appointment with my healthcare practitioner to to find out where we can go from here um with this app um i also found out things to do with my muscles which was very 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 interesting so from the dna it could tell my muscle mass and um, my strength um how lean i am it, it, it was it was unbelievable to be honest and it labels it um, I'll try and put a picture up on the screen, but it labels things on um, how sh how strong you are compared to the 100% of people who's sent in a DNA test to, to this company um, and so on and so forth. So I actually got a reading of, um, I believe it was... So it was my muscle power. So my muscle power was um, listed as above normal and it says that I would be in the top 20% or so on and so forth of the people who have been tested. Um, and then the next one was muscle stamina. Um, and the next, uh, that one was um, listed as um, gifted. So saying I'd be in the top 5% of people who've been tested. And I always knew that I was unbelievably strong um, for my size and weight and, and, and stuff like that. But there was a power to weight ratio um, uh, seg, uh, section and I was gifted in this also um, top, I'm not sure how many percent, but I'll, I'll put it here. I just found these things fascinating how it could, I know that it's definitely related to me because I know my strengths and weaknesses and I know that my muscle stamina is unbelievable. I know that my power is unbelievable. I know that my power to weight ratio is unbelievable. Um, it says that I've got lean body mass and um, so on and so forth. Um, it also goes into another few details. Um, it goes into which um, I have a slight sensitivity to caffeine, which I, I, I kind of figured um, that it wasn't that bad, but sometimes I do get a bit of a weird feeling from caffeine. I've explained this before in a few different videos where I can have two or three coffees a day and I feel fine. And then sometimes I can have one coffee in the morning and it just sends me over the edge. And I didn't know if that was to do with fibromyalgia in a way that we just don't, we just don't work properly on some days. And it also tells you and goes in, in depth um, in regards to diet and to things that we ingest and digest. Um, 
it talks about how carb uh, carbohydrates affects me personally with my DNA, um, sugars, um, you name it, 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 it's got it there. Um, I believe that there was about 12, 12 things it, it named um, and, and went into some detail about how they affect my body. There's also a health tab and it goes into talking about your your risk of um, becoming genetically obese, um, genetically um, how how likely you are to have increased risk of um, colds and flus and viruses. Um, and I thought that was an amazing tab as well. So it also has a little breakdown um, in regards to um, things that you intake into your body. And um, one of them that I noticed that it says that I have got a very beneficial to intake protein and it will break it down and it will explain to you what, what protein is and it'll explain why my DNA um, has such a good effect with a high intake of protein, which I thought was very good, especially because I train. Um, I like to know um, little little specific key elements um, in regards to things like this. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a, a, a great breakdown on the app. Um, overall, I reckon that this is something that um, most of you should do, if not all of you should do. Um, I don't believe it's that expensive. And I would also say that if you've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, definitely seek or definitely challenge and, and look to seek more in-depth answers, which it's made me want to do. And it's kind of got me questioning everything. But that is for the next video. Guys, I hope you're having a low pain day and your fibro flare-ups are at bay.